singer songwriter Bobby Caldwell has died at the age of 71. Finally tonight here what you won't do for love remembering Bobby Caldwell. Dear friends, unfortunately, we come to you today with sad news. A horrifying tragedy has occurred, one that nobody expected. This loud and heartbreaking news came out of the blue and left nobody indifferent as it touched the hearts of people all over the world. This person was definitely a symbol of his era. The entire music industry of the last century owes a lot to his contribution. We regret to inform you that just days ago, the world lost this loud name, which made families all over the world happier. 71-year-old American drummer, producer, songwriter, arranger, and one of the founders of the groups Captain Beyond and Armageddon, Bobby Caldwell, passed away after a long illness. Of course, his advanced age implied the presence of serious illnesses. Aging is an inevitable process, and the most important thing for each of us is not to be afraid of it, but to face it with dignity. Our hero certainly succeeded in this, managing to maintain a healthy spirit and strength for life for a long time. But unfortunately, the world is unfair and takes away the best of the best so early. For five years before his sudden death, the artist could not walk, suffering from painful manifestations of neuropathy and pain in the damaged ankle. These pains developed after an unusual reaction to the antibiotic prescribed in 2017. This once again proves that one should be extremely careful in the selection of drugs, as they can put life at risk and lead to irreversible tragedy, as it happened with the musician. The most popular hit by Caldwell, What You Won't Do For Love, from his 1978 debut album Bobby Caldwell, which went double platinum, has been covered by many artists and groups, including Boys Two Men and Michael Bolton, and Tupac Shakur sampled the song in his track Do For Love. He grew up listening to the music of Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald. At the age of 12, he started playing piano and guitar. He was drawn to rock and roll, as well as jazz and rhythm and blues. After the success of his debut album, the artist continued to expand his discography with other albums, released singles and music videos outside of albums. He not only sang, but also played instrumental parts, produced, arranged, and mixed. In the 1980s, Bobby gained a special love in Japan and even received the Japan Record Awards. Thanks for watching and have a good day.